Whenever you're ready. It's a make or miss league. Um, uh, uh, it's a make or miss league. Make, miss. It's a make or miss league, baby. Make bygones. Remember Shake Milton and Joel Embiid's argument the other day? Well, all is forgiven now. Shake hit a game winner versus the Spurs. Richard, this wasn't such a big deal to begin with, but does winning cure everything? Yeah, it does cure everything, but at, at the end of the day, it's not a big deal. It's funny, we, we've watched, the, my favorite thing about the Jordan documentary is that it finally gave people an insight to how much friction goes on when you're trying to compete at that type of high level. So, it, it, we're completely fine. Brian? The reason that he was open was because Joel B was getting double teamed. They are better when they work together. Come on, guys, you can do it. <laughs> Miss Accuracy. Rudy Gobert threw a no-look pass earlier in last night's game, and he was feeling himself a little bit. Then he hit JaVale in, in the face. Brian, was Rudy a little too confident here? Oh, Rudy, Rudy was definitely way too this confident, was actually but that's good his defense. thing. This was actually good defense by JaVale McGee. Even with though his face? he blocked, he got in the passing lane with his face. He actually was rotating in, and Joe Ingles was going to get a wide open three, and uh, he blocked it. it. It cost him a little bit of pain, but they gave, would have <laughs> given up a three. Well done. Well done. Well done by Richard, I don't know if you ever defense. played defense with your face, but these are important, important questions. All right, make dimes. Ben Simmons had a bad game by his standards last night, but he did have some highlight dimes and a nice little finger roll. Richard Jefferson, how tough is he in the open court? He is, and he's so good in the open court that people question giving up uh, Joel Embiid so that they can play fast. It's a little confusing, but, you know, look, they have a great combination. Joel Embiid in the half court, him in the transition. Yeah, I, I'm cool with us just pointing out Ben Simmons' assists because they were awesome, but he had more fouls than assists in this game. I think that should be pointed out. By the out. way, my producer Andrea and I are here having in-depth conversations about his assists and fouls, so, you know, it's, it's a topic all over. Make buckets. <laughs> Fred Van Vliet on fire yesterday. He dropped 36 points on 16 shots, hit seven threes. R Richard, we need to come up with a good nickname for Fred Van Vliet because the one out there right now, Steady Freddy, I, I mean, come on, we can do better here. RJ. No, Steady Freddy, Scary Freddy, any of that is fine. I, I, I love them all. But listen, you just keep getting buckets, winning championships. You keep balling. You get paid. Don't worry about nicknames. Nicknames don't do anything. I like FVV. What's wrong with FVV? It does not there roll no off FVV. the tongue. You know, immediately here you're talking Come on. about. That's fair. I don't know. And then we try to call Richard by his initials, and he gets cranky. So I don't know if people don't like that. I don't know what's going on. But I feel we could do better. This is a challenge to everyone out there of our Jump family. We can do better. Thanks for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN+.